dam in front of a lake close to where I live that has been drained for an extended period of time. As you can tell, there is more grass than water at this lake. In fact, the ducks out there don't even have a place they can really swim. They're walking in the lake instead of swimming. I have found in my own life that during those dry times, the Lord has taught me to think of it as like I am a sponge then. And during that dry time, He's preparing me to actually be able to soak in His presence even more when the Holy Spirit then decides to pour out that living water on me, sometimes when I least expect it, and I feel it again, that, that He's with me. And then I can drink that in to a deeper level because of the dry times. So if you're going through a time like that, I encourage you now, just know God is still with you. He will never leave you, never forsake you. And He's causing you to be thirsty. So ask Him, Lord, help me in this time to seek you even though I don't find you. And thank you for your faithfulness in my life. If you are in a dry time in your walk with God, I want to encourage you to remember that this time God is using in your life to help you soak it in even more. Because one day soon, and when you sometimes least expect it, the Lord is going to fill your empty heart with His abundance. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. You'll be able to look back at the dry parched times and see where God used that to draw you even closer to Him. And you will also look at the times of abundance and remember that Jesus is the source of that. You'll be able to join with Paul like he wrote in the book of Ephesians when he said, I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Thank you, God, for your abundance in our lives.